Hey folks, today we're gonna unpack what I pack when I fly or drive to go to an A system. I'm now completely self-contained with all the gear. I ask nothing of my clients except to make sure the system is ready to go for me to access and I have a checklist for them. But as far as mic stands, cabling, microphones themselves, the interface, that's all self-contained. I wanna show you what I bring and why, what I check, what I carry on with me and how I pack it. Pretty simple setup, but just a, a few important things uh, to note. I've got four 100-foot XLR cables. These are EWI. These are color-coded to match the traces I use in Smart. And then I have four 25-foot that I can use as extensions that can either get from my interface into the DSP or the console or go, go on the end of these if the run is longer than 100 feet. I also bring with me a 100 foot Cat5 cable just in case the DSP is not in a network I can access over Wi-Fi. These are now the mic stands I carry with me. So these are Manfrotto, I think it's their micro or mini stand, I'll have a link to it below, but they are great. They've got the little attachment on the top that can fit a mic clip. It's the little European adapter, but these are lighting stands, but they're great, they're super light and they actually fit in the top zipper of this bag. The Mic cables all go in here on the bottom. These go in the middle of it, then that one on top, and then I put my clothes on top. Most of these are just a one, maybe two night stay, so I pack pretty light otherwise, so most of the gear. And we'll say TSA, I probably have a 50% chance of getting pulled off because they see all this gear when I look at it, but no big deal. Moving back over to my Pelican, I have another video on the channel where I go into a lot more detail on exactly what's in here and why, but I'll hit the highlights specifically when it comes to system tuning. Here is my interface, the Audient Evo 8. It's got four mic preamps that I use the digital loop back for my reference signal. And then the microphones I use are right here. These are their Icom Isomcon EMX 7150s. Again, this tape matches the tape that's over here on my 100 foot XLR cables. You might say, hey, why don't you get a wireless rig, Michael? And that would be cool to get one day, but it's super expensive and I usually have time with installs to be able to do it. So right now I'm just gonna travel with bulky XLR cable and deal with it. So those are the microphones themselves. I also carry with me a small network switch so I can connect to their local network to control the DSP because some DSPs don't let you connect a cable directly to them. They need the, basically the, the crossover cable that's in a switch. And then I also have this tiny little router that I can throw on a network just in case they don't have that so I can access it wirelessly. Otherwise, it's just a few extra network cables, uh, connections to do a analog loop back if I need it, connections to get the signal out of my Evo 8 over TRS to XLR into a system, and just some other normal tools, screw, screwdriver, that kind of thing. I might clips and cables are in here. Then in the top of my Pelican here, I have my PC laptop, and that's what has all the system control software. Then in the backpack, AKA my personal item that I carry with me onto the plane is where I have all of that. So that's why I carry with me my backpack. I have my clothes and my cables and all of my stands in here. And then I have my Pelican with my other gear and I check that um, and that's in my travel budget for the client. Anyway. Just a quick rundown of what I do, what I carry it, and that's my rig.